Hi, my name is Cherry Flowers with Page and Flowers and we're here in the urban jungle, St. Paul, Minnesota in the Hamlin Midway neighborhood um, on a, a lot that's a double lot and this is our urban farm. We've been growing for in the in the urban landscape for about 12 years um, on different sites around the city and um, right here this is our home and also our part of our farm um, and this farm site we happen to have a high tunnel um, our high tunnel is 30 by 32 the advantages of having a high tunnel would be that you can grow things for a longer period of time throughout the season so starting earlier in the spring and then going later into the fall in the high tunnel we usually grow things that like really warm season um, temperatures so we've grown tomatoes peppers eggplant um, we've also grown and we have in there now too some sweet potatoes that like a longer season and like hotter temperatures um, and then right now we're experimenting with ginger and turmeric that are hot season types of crops and longer season crops as well um, partly because they're high value crops and then other things that we're doing in the high tunnel are um, aquaponics and hydroponics. And succession planting is another piece of it. So in the spring we might start with lettuce or um, greens of some sort that like the cool season weather and then move into the hot season crops in the middle of the year and then go into another cool um, variety in the fall. One of the things about a high tunnel is that, of course, because it's covered with plastic, you don't end up with rainwater getting inside unless you work really hard at it. And we found out about the SARE grant and we were fortunate enough to get a SARE grant to do water capture off of the high tunnel. And um, the high tunnel will, it will capture about a total of um, 600 gallons of water in a one inch rainfall. And so we felt like that was worth uh, working toward. Um, so what we put together is gutters on both sides of the high tunnel that collect the water. And then the water goes into rain barrels at the west side of the high tunnel. And um, from there we have a pump. And the pump is powered either from our house, from the electricity from our house, or by a solar collector. Um, and then from there, the water is pumped through into a drip irrigation system. And in the ir irrigation system, then that runs directly to the roots of the plants. And that's important in a high tunnel because if you have overhead watering, sometimes the leaves get wet and they can get diseased. So, um, so this whole system works really well together and it's a way for us to take take advantage of all of the water that sheets off of the high tunnel and it also helps us to keep from um, from flooding the high tunnel because originally when all the water that would come off the high tunnel some of it would get inside and then it would tend to flood the edges of it and make it too wet. 